If you wanna learn how to clean your AirPods quickly and easily, then stick around. First, you need to grab your AirPods, sticky tack, toothpicks, and a microfiber cloth. Throughout the entire process, you wanna make sure that you're not pushing anything into the speakers, but rather picking it out. As you can see, I start with a toothpick to get as much earwax as I can out. I then mold the sticky tack and push firmly and evenly and hold for about five seconds. This will get that last little bit of earwax and dirt that the toothpick couldn't reach. You're supposed to clean your hairbrushes once every two weeks. I started by pulling out as much hair as I could and then I gave them a bath. I'm all about using products that aren't harmful for your skin. So I used a half a cup of baking soda and my Acura shampoo. So work that into my brushes and then let them soak. Immediately, the water started turning brown and gross. I let them soak for 30 minutes before taking them out. Here's what the water looked like, and I don't dye my hair or use much product. Deep cleaning your mattress will remove allergens, dust, and bacteria. Plus, it's super simple. Just mix together baking soda and your favorite essential oil and sprinkle that over your mattress. Leave for 30 minutes, then vacuum it up, and you're good to go. See a cast iron like this, you most likely will think it's a lost cause. But the great thing about cast irons are they are invincible. Fill up the sink with some distilled white vinegar and let your cast iron soak for about an hour. Look at how disgusting. Don't worry about the sink, I'll tackle that later. I'm then gonna use steel wool to rub off all of the rust. This is gonna take several passes before it's completely gone. Make sure to do the sides, handles, and everywhere on the cast iron pan. When you're done, you'll dry and then re-season it. If you have mold inside your washing machine or around your tub, take a white towel and saturate it in hydrogen peroxide or bleach. Make sure to wear gloves to protect your hands. Then use the towel to cover the mold and wait for 10 minutes before removing. Check and then increase time if necessary. This should kill any mold spores. Part of my monthly cleaning is to do a deep clean of my dryer. So not only do I clean off my lint catcher like normal, but I also go one step further. The model of my dryer allows me to disconnect the actual trap. That way I can really get in there deep and get all of that backed up lint. I use the Shark Ion vacuum to tackle this area. When it's completely clean, I make sure to screw it back on and then give a good wipe down to the rest of the dryer. I use some vinegar and a microfiber cloth. I've tried every way and this is the best. Simply put a bowl of water in for four minutes until it's boiling. Carefully take it out and then everything will wipe off super easily, even those caked on stains. I've tried so many cleaners for this white kitchen sink and you'll be surprised at what actually worked. Honestly, it wasn't any fancy concoction. I just wet the sink and let baking soda sit for 10 minutes before giving it a good scrub. I did make sure to scrub in circular motions to really get at every angle, but the final result was flawless. Here's how to remove a red wine stain from your carpet. Use a white cloth to gently dab away as much as you can. Then pour distilled white vinegar over the stain and watch it change color. You'll continue to work in the vinegar until it's completely gone. 